An air raid siren was heard in central Kyiv shortly after Polish President Andrzej Duda finished speaking to Ukraine's parliament, a reminder that the nation remained at war even as the front lines have shifted hundreds of kilometers to the south and east. After ending weeks of resistance by the last Ukrainian fighters in the strategic southeastern port of Mariupol, Russia is waging a major offensive in Luhansk, one of two provinces in Donbass. Russian-backed separatists already controlled parts of Luhansk and the neighboring Donetsk province before the invasion, but Moscow wants to seize the remaining Ukrainian-held territory in the region. The Russian Defense Ministry said Sunday its forces pounded Ukrainian command centers, troops and ammunition depots in Donbass, and the Mykolaiv region in the south with airstrikes and artillery. Belarusians are among the foreign fighters who have volunteered to take up arms in Ukraine against Russian forces. They consider the Ukrainians defending their homeland to be their brethren. And by joining their resistance to Russia's onslaught, they hope to weaken the rule of Russian President Vladimir Putin and ultimately that of Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko. In remarks, U.S. President Joe Biden says South Korea joined in trade sanctions against Russia and supports efforts to end the invasion of Ukraine. And the Republic of Korea and the United States are standing together, part of a global response with our allies and partners around the world to condemn Russia's flagrant violations of international law and to hold Russell, Russia accountable and to support the people of Ukraine. Russia has halted natural gas exports to neighboring Finland. The highly symbolic move that came early Saturday marks a likely end to 50 years of natural gas import from Moscow to Helsinki. U.S. President Joe Biden arrived in Japan Sunday as part of his first visit to Asia as president. During the Japan leg of Mr. Biden's trip, he will meet with Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Monday and lay out his vision for negotiating a new trade agreement, the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. A central theme for the trip is to tighten U.S. alliances in the Pacific to counter China's influence in the region. Scientists who have monitored the monkeypox virus in Western Africa are baffled by its recent spread around the world. AP correspondent Karen Chamas reports. Cases have previously been seen only among people with links to Africa. But in the past week, cases have popped up in Britain, Spain, Portugal, Sweden, the U.S. and Canada. Most of the reported infections have been found in young men who hadn't previously traveled to Africa. No one has so far died from the outbreak, and scientists in Britain are investigating whether the disease is being sexually transmitted. I'm Karen Chamas. Oman announced Sunday the lifting of all measures that have been taken to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in all venues and for all activities, State TV reported, citing a statement from the government committee dealing with the pandemic. Northeast Bangladesh's worst flood in nearly 20 years began receding Sunday, but rescue workers were struggling to help millions marooned by extreme weather across the region that has killed around 60 people. Floods are a regular menace to millions of people in low-lying Bangladesh and neighboring northeast India, but many experts say that climate change is increasing the frequency, ferocity, and unpredictability. Golf's PGA Championship, one of the four men's major championships in professional golf, continues without its star attraction. AP correspondent Dave Ferry reports. Tiger Woods is three and out at the PGA Championship. PGA of America officials announced that Woods has withdrawn from the tournament at Southern Hills in Tulsa after a 9 over 79 left him 12 over and 21 shots off the lead. Woods limped through the round in obvious pain as he continues to deal with the after effects of major surgery on his right leg. The 15-time major champion barely made the cut at three over on Friday thanks to a pair of late birdies and a one under 69. This marks the first time Woods has withdrawn from a major events since turning pro. I'm Dave Ferry. And recapping our top story, an air raid siren was heard in central Kyiv shortly after Polish President Andrzej Duda finished speaking to Ukraine's parliament, a reminder that the nation remained at war even as the front lines have shifted hundreds of kilometers to the south and east. And after ending weeks of resistance by the last Ukrainian fighters in the strategic southeastern port of Mariupol, Russia is waging a major offensive in Luhansk.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.